Thank you so much to Rafa for putting this together. And I'll be working on a nice healthy recipe today, something that we can all enjoy. Welcome, welcome as you're coming in. Won't start without you, so I'll give you a few more minutes. Welcome, welcome. And I'm here on behalf of Better Health, that's the public health team all around healthy eating and just a healthier lifestyle, better living for us. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Come on in. I can see more people joining. Awesome. Give me a few more minutes. And then we'll kick off with today's cook along. Um, have you got your apron on? And I hope you've prepped your ingredients as well. You need to tell off each day. I'm not to wait. Why do you have time for you to do your chopping and everything? A few more seconds. I can see that some more people yeah, are joining. Yeah. And if you're just coming in, you are so welcome. <laughs> Welcome to this live cook along. Oh. Thanks again, gratefulness and appreciation to the amazing team at Rafa. Thank you for hosting us today. Awesome. I want to see more people join in. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna kick off. I'm going to kick up. So welcome, everyone. Um, welcome again to this live cook-along. Uh, my name is Sholo Ladipo, and I'm a registered dietitian. i um, been a dietitian for a long time now. And my passion really is around healthy living, healthy eating, a healthy lifestyle um, for everyone, particularly for us people of colour, the so Black African Caribbean community in particular. And um, part of my role, apart from being a registered dietitian, is I'm an entrepreneur and I run an organisation called Food for Purpose. And I'm working today in collaboration with the Better Health team for Public Health. And I'm going to be cooking one of their recipes. So Public Health, uh, the Better Health team, have been working hard to really um, stretch from the you know, the Eurocentric uh, meals are often out in the public domain. And they've been doing some work to um, bring about more of the culturally relevant foods. So today's meal actually is a, a Somalian traditional meal. And um, for us, it's a one pot rice and chicken meal. And um, the recipe is on the Better Health website. So do feel free to, to have a look at it. But um, I'm going to cook along with you. Anyone else still joining? Okay, while you're doing that, I'm just going to give my hands a wash. And um, I hope you're giving your hands a wash too. Just give my hands a wash and then we'll kick off and I'll tell you exactly what we're doing. It's a bit windy in here. Just a little bit windy. It's better than the rain though, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to kick off. And our recipe for today, as I said, is from the Better Health um, website. And it's actually called Baris Itsukaris, which is a Somalian dish. And it really is in a nutshell, it's a one pot meal and it's rice and chicken. And what um, Better Health, the Better Health team have done is they've adapted this to make it um, healthier. So it's really important for us, isn't it? to keep our traditions. We don't want to be eating bland, boring food, and we don't want people giving us food that's not ours. We want to be who we are, don't we, and express ourselves. So the, um, the various Itukaris is everything about Somalia, everything about the recipe. What, what we've done is a little twist to make it a little healthier. So what we're doing is increasing our vegetables, dropping that salt, having a moderate portion of carbohydrate, and otherwise, it's, you know, good food. It's our food and hopefully it'll be appealing to you. So if it's the first time for you, it's nice and easy, it's tasty and it's something you can do for the family. So hopefully you have got your recipe. Um, if you haven't, I'll just go through the ingredients really, really quickly. I've got mine here. So I've got my vegetable oil. So yeah, healthy cooking doesn't mean no oil. So we are going to use some oil, but not much. Um, I've got some onions, ready chopped here. 
I've got some lovely garlic, a cinnamon stick. I've got some spices, some turmeric, um, some cumin. And of course, we're going to be using some seasoning cubes. So you see, we still do have, you know, the flavor and everything else. And um, with the seasoning cubes, um, the Better Health team are recommending a low salt version. You can still use them. Um, and if you can't find them in the shops, we recommend that you still can add your, your, you know, your seasonings, but just use less salt. But I'm going to show you the low salt version, um, using it with the low salt cubes today. All right, so let's get cooking then. Um, let me kick off. I'm going to start the cooker. And we're going to kick off by putting some oil in our pan. Now, I, I won't lie, often we don't measure oil, do we? Because we just kind of know with our eye, don't we? We, we know, but because we're watching those calories, um, we're making sure that we understand what's going into our bodies, I'm going to measure, so for this recipe, it's two tablespoons. And it's amazing, with oil, you know, you don't actually have to add much oil to get a lot of calories. So it's a high calorie, um, ingredient and therefore we're, we're measuring it. So I'm going to start the cooker. Let's put it in a nice moderate, moderate heat. Well, I've got my tablespoon here and I'm measuring two, two tablespoons of oil. A healthy cooking is not no fat. But we are really dropping that fat and just keeping an eye. You know, we're being vigilant, aren't we? We're looking after our bodies. And then I'm going to add in my onions. Got my lovely chopped onions here. That's about one medium onion. Some people will say about 150 grams if you're measuring. 150 grams if you're measuring. I'm just going to turn that down a bit. I'm going to pop my onions in. You know it, don't you? Onions cooking in the oil, that smell is unmistakable, right? Absolutely unmistakable. Mm -hmm. And it gets everyone in the house is like, okay, what's cooking? All right, we're just going to let that fry off a little in my oil, you know, keeping an eye. Let's drop that heat a little bit. Okay, welcome, welcome to anyone who's still just joining. And then I'm going to add some garlic. So for this recipe, it's quite a garlicky one. Um, you know, if you don't like that much garlic, do drop, drop back. It's about five cloves of garlic for this. And again, I've had them pre-chopped. And just pop that in the pan. And just let it soften up a little and just the aroma of the onion and garlic fill the kitchen. Um, with the garlic, I know some people can find it a bit finickety, you know, especially if you've got like weakness in your hands or whatever. Um, you can actually use garlic paste as well, and that is about two teaspoons, okay, just in case you're struggling with your chopping your garlic. All right, I'm just going back to the recipe, and yeah, we're keeping this going for about two minutes and just enjoying that aroma as well. Mm -mm. Good stuff. And as we're going along, please feel free to put any questions in the chat or comments. If you're cooking, of course, you might find it, you know, difficult to do the two. But if you're not and you're watching, hope there are not too many that are not. But yeah, please do put questions or comments in the chat because we are cooking together. Okay. We're just keeping this going. Yeah, that smell of onion and garlic is just like, hmm, delicious, really delicious. Just let that go for a few more seconds. If you've just come in, you've still got time to catch up. So I've got my two tablespoons of oil in the pan. I've got my medium onion chopped up. I've just popped in five garlic cloves. It, it's quite a lot, um, but please feel free to use less um, if you're not, you know, into the garlic. Sorry, it's four garlic cloves. Excellent. So don't let it burn. Or in, you know where I come from, I don't let it burn. All. That's what my mum would say. Don't let that food burn. All. So don't let it burn. All right. So we're just keeping that going. 
Nice aroma. Holy, it's Catherine. Hello, nice to hear from you. Yeah, and you, you're right. Yes, I'm just out walking the dog, but it's... Oh, nice! nice. Dog, so. Oh, oh, no. I borrowed my neighbour's to walk him. He's lovely. He's he's a a terrier. So he's he's really well. Remember, maximum taste. Man. Um, we're lowering the fat. We're lowering that salt, aren't we? So we're looking at, you know, our, our um, blood vessels, our cardiovascular health, and trying to keep that blood pressure in check. We're managing our portions. We are having chicken, so, you know, we're having a good amount of protein as well. So this is actually an enjoyable, healthy meal, um, typical of the Somalian um, diet. Great. So my onion's been going for a little while. Looking lovely, looking lovely. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. And um, like you, I'm literally just following the recipe. So, you know, let, let's do this together. Okay, so I'm going to add my cinnamon stick. Mmm, lovely, lovely. Um, I'm adding one cinnamon stick for flavour. Again, typical of that type of, you know, the East African kind of Arabic taste. Cinnamon and those aromatic seasonings are brilliant. Um, so I'm just adding that. And if you don't have a cinnamon stick, feel free to use one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay, and then... Just give it a stir. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> so, so good. So good. For those of you that are just joining, today we're cooking Baris Itsukaris, which is a one pot Somalian meal. And basically, it is um, chicken and rice, Somalian style. Um, this is um, a project. Um, we're working alongside Rafa and um, Better Health, part of the public health um, team initiative. And it's all around healthy living. But for us, um, it's about enjoying our food as well and enjoying our food that's culturally relevant to us. So um, Better Health the, in the public health team, they've been working really hard to bring about um, healthy recipes that are culturally relevant um, to black and brown people so that we too can enjoy our healthy foods. Alright, so, and actually to be honest, you know what, there's nothing wrong with our foods, I always say that, nothing wrong with our foods at all, it really is, you know, what we do to them, nothing wrong with our foods at all, we're really blessed, you know, with uh, vast dishes, you know, fantastic vegetables and, you know, amazing fruit and just aromas and flavours, but it actually, um, it is what we do with them, you know, it's how we cook them, it's obviously portion control and things like salt, but today we're showing you how this can be done um, healthfully, particularly if you, you know, you're looking to perhaps manage your weight, we're going to show you how to um, portion this so that it um, meets your needs, but also perhaps if you're, you know, um, controlling your calories, um, it's quite light in terms of your calorie allowance. Okay, so, and if you're not, you know, it's still healthy and nice to look at. Okay, yep, so I've got in here my garlic, my onions, and my cinnamon, smelling lovely. And now I'm going to add in some chopped tomatoes. The recipe says about 100 grams or so of chopped plum tomatoes. Now, Again, if you don't have the, you know, the plum tomatoes, um, please feel free to use the tin. The tin one is just as good. You, it'll be a, a bit more juicy, you'll have a lot more liquid, so you can remove some of that, but by all means, feel free to use the tin. I'm using fresh chopped tomatoes, so those are going to use. Just dropping that gas now. Smells fantastic. And then I'm going to add in some cumin seeds. Again, very, very typical of this type of dish. I'm from the, re the region. Um, cumin seeds. It had to they are certainly a game changer. Cumin, yeah. a real game changer. Give me that yeah. real, yeah, smell that already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Neighbours, come and smell them, it's good! 
Yeah. So we've got our cumin seasoning here, we've got our tomato in with our onion and our garlic and that lovely cinnamon stick. I'm just going to let those flavours combine. Lovely, lovely. Hope you're keeping up, hope I'm not going too fast. And if you're just joining, you are well. Let that go for about three minutes or so. Let that cook for about three minutes. Lovely. Yeah, everything nice and in order in the pot. Feels so good as well. And as I said, you know, as a healthcare professional, as a dietitian, I I am an unapologetic food lover, and I don't like. I like, I hate tasteless food, I hate tasteless food, um, and one thing is, you know, there's something about our food, isn't it, um, certainly where I come from, um, or, although I sound very British, uh, my heritage is Nigerian, and, you know, for us, food is so important, you, you know, there's a, a child is born, we're having food, um, you know, uh, somebody's having a birthday, we're having food, we're going to church, or perhaps, you know, you're going to the, the mosque, we are having food. So it's so important that our food is so much about who we are and about our cultures, but it has to have taste and it has to be flavoursome. So once again, it's great to be working with the Better Health team um, from Public Health England, whereby, you know, we're um, making culturally relevant foods that we've just made them um, a bit healthier. Again, there's nothing wrong with our foods, but it's just about what we're doing with them. So keeping our salt nice and low. Um, with plenty of veggies, that fat low, so it's not no fat, it's low fat, flavour, 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 and it's about food that we recognise, you know, we don't want people to be putting something in front of us that we don't recognise, so hopefully this will be something that we recognise and something we can enjoy with our families. Let's come back to my recipe. Okay, so I've just turned this right down now. The onions are browning up beautifully, and the garlic is all nicely combining. Got my tomatoes and my cinnamon stick, and the cumin seeds are really doing their stuff. I'm just going to pop to this sink now. I'm just going to um, get my chicken ready. So we've got about um, 600 grams of um, chicken pieces. So I've got chicken thighs. Um, 600 grams is about um, pieces, eight small um, thighs, and this meal is to serve four people. And what we've done here is gone for the skinless thighs. And I know some people think, "Oh, you take away the skin, you take away this part." With thighs, because thighs are still quite juicy, they really are um, still nice and moist, so they're not, you know, they don't dry up. They're nice and moist, but we've taken away the skin. We've taken away a lot of the saturated fat already, and it's healthier and still very enjoyable. Um, it's easy to buy them, you know, in the supermarkets without the skin. And actually, these ones are bone free as well. So you can buy bone free, skinless um, chicken thighs. And if you don't have chicken thighs, that's fine. Some people use um, drumsticks. Again, they just remove the skin and some people remove the bone as well. You that make fine. So I just give my chicken a wash and then I'm going to pop my chicken in to that this aromatic crew here. So the chicken is going in. And we're following this recipe, it's online. The Better Health website, so I think it's www.betterhealth.co.uk. And if you just go into your search engine um, and type Better Health, it would come up. We've got my chicken in here. That's 600 grams, which is about eight, about eight.
Lovely, lovely. So the chicken's browning up a bit. Go back to the recipe. Again, this is available online. Okay, and we're just stirring this mixture together. Remember there was a little bit of oil in here. The tomatoes have released some water. The onions and the garlic have released some water as well. And I guess the beauty of it for me is that, you know, um, we just don't want this to be dry because when things get dry, that's often where people get tempted to add more oil, but we don't want oil. We've already got two tablespoons and that's all the fat that we're going to add to this recipe. So the chicken is just grinding up a little bit. And then I'm going to add some turmeric. Put the gas down, not too high. Chicken to burn. So I'm going to add my turmeric. So one teaspoon of ground turmeric. Again, really typical. of the region, the Somalian type of East African slash Arabic. And this is smelling so good. Oh yeah, mm, smelling good. So I'm making sure my chicken's nicely coated. Those tomatoes are blending in quite nicely now. And of course, turmeric has that characteristic color, doesn't it? It brings out that characteristic orangey color. So I've got my turmeric in there, and now I'm going to add some cumin powder. So we've got cumin seeds already, haven't we? In there, we're, I'm gonna add some cumin powder, and I'm also going to add um, some um, coriander. So let's go for the cumin powder. All of these are available in your supermarket. Get this open. Bear with me. Yep. Let's do it the traditional way. Let's get the Cuban powder open. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm having a fight with the Cuban powder. I know. What am I like? What am I like? Okay. So we got Cuban powder. Again, just one teaspoon. Here we go. Lovely, lovely. And you know, the, the turmeric, or the turmeric, as some people pronounce it, and the cumin is salt free. So we're adding, you know, one teaspoon each. Again, you know, for some people, if you enjoy those flavors, you may add a little bit more. Um, but they're salt free, so that that's the, the beauty there. If you, if you like those kinds of flavors, then please go ahead. Mm. Those of you that are not cooking, you are missing. The smell is good. The smell is good. The smell is good. I'm just turning up my gas just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, this is good. This is good. Really good. Yeah. Lovely. I put my chicken thighs in as they were. They were about um, about about six, between six to eight. So I've got like six quite healthy pieces, and then eight, um, the other two are quite small. So it's about six to eight pieces. It's six hundred grams. But some people I know might want to cut it a little bit. You know, cut them in half and cut them into chunks. Again, that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. So our chicken is now nicely basted and coated with this beautiful, beautiful aromatic mixture. Yeah, and in the next thing I'm going to add to our chicken mix is some ground coriander. Again, a real typical flavor for um, the East. And again, I am struggling to get in there. <laughs> Here we go. 
So the two tablespoons of my coriander. Two teaspoons, beg your pardon, two teaspoons of coriander. And then uh, some of you are saying, where's the seasoning, man? Here's the seasoning. As I said earlier, the recipe recommended here is for a low salt cube. So I'm crushing that in. So remember, we are having seasoning, the low salt cube. Do you want to have that flavour in our chicken? See that bit stubborn sounds breaking out here. Lovely, lovely. Give the hands a quick wash. Brilliant. Okay, and then let's give this a nice old mix. Nice old mix. And this is smelling so good. So, so good. I'm turning up my gas now. Just baste in my chicken. Making sure it's all covered. But use up all the seasonings and all the spices. Yeah, and of course the chicken is starting to cook. The chicken is starting to cook. So by the time you add the rice to this one pot wonder, it's all nice and quick. Here we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Going back to our recipe. Lovely. Before I add in my rice, grated carrots. So I've got 100 grams for 200 grams of grated carrot. I'm lying, it's 100 grams, which is a, like one medium to large carrot. And that's going in as well. Lovely. And this is smelling so, so, so good. So good. Mm -mm. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Just making sure everything is nicely mixed in. We're being really lucky with the salt here, not needing any additional salt. The salt we have from our cube and the flavour we have from the seasonings. Okay, so those are going in nicely and they're bubbling away and combining. I'm just going to add some water, back to the water. Okay, and then my 200 mils of water. Sorry, double that, 400 mils of water. Then I'm just going to cover my chicken and let it cook. And then the final thing we do. Is add our rice. Cool, so I'm going to let that cook for about 15 minutes or so. Depending on the thickness of your chicken, obviously, if you chopped up your chicken, in, then it'd be even thicker. I'm just going to raise my gas a little bit, get it cooking nicely, and as our mother's taught us, I am going to be clearing up <laughs> while we're waiting for the chicken to cook. Yeah, my mum, I hear my mum's voice, are you clearing your chicken along, Shana? Are you clearing your chicken along? And actually, I'll say that to my kids as well. So. The legacy lives on. Lovely, lovely. That aroma is amazing. Absolutely lovely. The chicken's bubbling away there. It smells so, so good. So good. Spoons out here. Make the 
water. Again, when we're cooking, usually we're not, you know, measuring too tough, are we? Because a lot of the time we know what we're doing and, you know, we're not really, I'm not trying to teach you how to cook at all. It's more just showing you um, a modified um, way of enjoying our food healthily. And um, the reasons that we're asking you to, to measure, especially things like, you know, salt and oil is because we want to be in control of those. We want to know what we're actually putting into our bodies. I don't know if there are any questions in the chat or anything or comments. Please feel free. We're just waiting for the chicken to bubble up. Awesome. And um, yeah, for people who want the recipe, it's actually on the Better Health um, website. And I'm just going to make sure that I give the exact details. Although you could put it into a search engine, but let me just let me be good and give you the exact um, website details here. Here we go. So it's um, yeah, search engine better health, or it's nhs.uk forward slash better health. So nhs.uk forward slash better health. And there are other recipes as well. So there are some from the Caribbean, um, there are also some from West Africa, and of course, these from East Africa as well. So worth checking it out. Um, as I said, you know, the public health teams have realised that there's a real need for a mixture of other recipes, apart from, you know, perhaps the very Eurocentric um, approach that there had been. And it's great just to see this happening, you know. So what's happened is They've looked at our, um, our foods and some of the recipes, not taking away the flavor, not taking away the heritage, but just made a few tweaks to make them healthier for us. Particularly if you're following you know, the better health guidance or perhaps you're doing the weight management um, regimen and you're following that plan. I think it's um, 10 weeks or you might, be, you, know, you might be making it a lifestyle now. Um, this meal that we'll be showing you is typical of a meal that is under 500 calories. So, the portions, of course, will be controlled, but the flavour is still to the max. And hopefully, you know, for us Black, African and Caribbean people, hopefully it looks like something that we feel we're going to enjoy. Because when you're managing your weight, you do want to be able to enjoy your food, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, chicken's coming on nicely. Nicely, nicely. I don't know if you're picking up that sound, but mmm, 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 mmm. Sounds so comforting. I'm just going to raise the heat a little. So comforting, got that lovely tinge. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm just probably going to give that about, yeah, about 34 more minutes or so, and then we'll just um, add in the rice. And that basically is it. That is it. We're using basmati rice, um, which is like a you know long grain, quite a light kind of rice, quite fragrant as well, which is really nice. Um, we're using a white rice. However, you could use um, basmati brown rice, um, and it's good to see you know these rice, um, these types of rice now are available widely across you know supermarkets. Um, the brown rice, of course, is much higher in fiber, which means it keeps you fuller for longer. So essentially you could be eating less of it. It does take a bit longer to cook. Um, so to this recipe, I'd probably add another 15 minutes because it does take a bit longer to cook. I will say if you're a first time out with brown rice, it is a bit of an acquired taste, um, but after a while, particularly with something like this that's quite flavoursome, it picks up the flavours and it is actually quite nice. It does actually taste quite nice. I'll be using brown rice for this recipe because it cooks quite quickly. And basmati rice tends to cook quite quickly. I wish I could send you the smell. It, it, the aroma is amazing. It really, really is amazing. It really is amazing. So what I've done with my um, rice is I've just given it a wash in some cold water.
what I've got here in terms of rice is 200 grams. Doesn't sound much, but remember we're cooking or uh, controlling the calories. We're having moderate carbs, so we're really dropping that carbohydrate portion. Um, when it's plated, you'll see how lovely it, it looks and you know just what our plate should look like. So 50% of your plate should actually be uh, vegetables. With this dish, we're having um, a salad, you know, with, with no additional dressing, not needed because the chicken and the rice is, you know, nice and rich and saucy, so not dry. Um, and our salad is, you know, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, a bit of red cabbage, a bit of spring onions. Um, but you could have, you know, your mixed veg. Um, if you'd like to, you could have, you know, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, see, um, steamed, however you like them. Um, preferably not adding any additional dressing because remember we're managing those calories. This meal is under 500 calories and we want to keep it that way, particularly because we're trying to manage our weight, not as a diet though, but as part of a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so as I'm thinking, this chicken is smelling so good. And I'm, yeah, I can definitely see the chicken is, is cooking. Mm -hmm. You know what guys, I'm gonna add the rice. I'm gonna add the rice. Don't wanna lose any time at all. As I said, it doesn't look much. It doesn't look much at all. However, remember we're talking about controlling that portion. So I've washed my rice in cold water quite a few times. You know what we like, we love to wash it. <laughs> um, and now literally just mixing it in, mixing in my rice, in with that lovely chicken mixture, that aromatic mixture. Gonna add about 200 mils of water. Again, you know, to the, to the aunties and the mummies and the uncles, I know you know how to cook and I know you're probably not measuring because you know, but uh, because we are following a recipe, I'm going to do that. But many of you will probably just do this by eye because we know when our rice is ready, don't we? We just know. Okay, and the rice is going in. Oh, this looks so, so lovely. And you know when you're, you're rushing to cook, that meal, and you just don't want to be washing up different type of pots. You know, this is one pot, all done. I'm literally going to give it a good old stir to get the flavours in. I don't know if your mum does this, but I'm going to do a typical mummy. I do this at home. Do you do that? Yeah, <laughs> I did it. I will wash my hands. I did it. No, that's all right. Because obviously, you know, I have chicken now. It's almost cooked. The chicken is almost cooking. Um, so I am just going to put the lid on. With basmati rice, what, um, the best way to get it done, um, or one of the best ways, because I'm sure there are hundreds of people out there saying, <laughs> um, so what I do is, you know, whack up the heat for a little while, about five minutes or so, and then turn it down to let it steam up. Late steam up, but I'm sure you out there, you probably have different ways of doing it. This is um, a good way that I do it. Um, so we've got you know our meal cooking and whacked up the heat. <laughs> um, we've got our you know our salad, so our salad is going to be 50% of the plate, and then the, the rest is going to be for our rice and our chicken. And in terms of drink, you know, what would you drink this with? Remember, we, we're watching calories, aren't we? We're watching our health. And um, we're watching, you know, sugar content. So what about water? What about water? How about water? For those of you that think, oh, that's that boring. Okay, how about some water with some lovely mint leaves? How about a little bit of ginger in there? How about some lemon or some lime? Or perhaps you're a, a berry lover. How about some strawberries or some raspberries? Um, some black uh, blackberries? Um, add that to your water, you know, give it some flavour. Perfect. Still or uh, fizzy water works really, really well. Again, you know, we're, we're looking at our body, we're looking after this body, this body is a gift, we're looking after it and making sure it's all working nice and well. And of course you can have it with a hot drink. How about some hot water with, again, the fruits or the mint leaves that I mentioned. Okay, so we're gonna turn down the rice then. We'll just turn that down. And I'm just gonna let it steam and I'm gonna start plating up the salad so that when we're ready, we're all ready to put something there. And of course, I will be eating it. You will be watching me eat. Mm. 
And because convenience is an amazing thing, isn't it? Convenience is an amazing thing. And what I did was literally, can't lie, can't lie, can I? <laughs> what I did was literally just bought a ready-made salad. Now you might want to, obviously you can do this at home, and you, you, know, you might want to have your own ready prepared, go for it. We're talking about, you know, catering towards busy lives as well, aren't we? So we've got some lovely onion, got some tomatoes. And in terms of what a healthy plate should look like, a lot of the time, you know, people ask this, so what should my plate look like? This is what a healthy plate should be looking like. Because we do eat with our eyes, don't we? You know, it needs to look right. So, you know, often before portion control, um, a lot of people would just fill up the plate with the rice, and then there's a few little leaves on the side. <laughs> cool. And I'm just going to make this 50%, and then I will show you exactly what this looks like. So we've got some lettuce leaves, some lovely cabbage here. Gonna move me tomato. See? Lovely, lovely. So that's what this should look like. Nice. Lovely. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? And remember, that could be your mixed veg as well. So bring it out the freezer. Don't know how you, some people like to steam theirs, not adding water, but obviously steaming it under some water. Some people put it in the microwave. It's fine as well. Again, just making sure that half of that plate is vegetables. Why? Well, we obviously, want to get up by the day, don't we? We want to feel full, and the beauty of these is that they're um, high in fiber and also high in vitamins and minerals. And the fiber actually fills us up and it keeps us chewing as well. It keeps us chewing too. Awesome. And yeah, people ask me, you know, is it frozen? Is it fresh? It could be fresh veggies. You know, you just see me taking that out of the pack because, you know, busy life. Busy life. Um, but you could, you could produce, you know, a fresh, nice, fresh salad at home. Absolutely fine. It could be tin veggies as well. Absolutely, absolutely fine. Um, with tin vegetables, you know, sometimes they are in uh, salt water or sometimes even sugar. Um, you know, get rid of that. Or actually, when you're buying them, try to make sure that you're buying them in water. You can get most of your veggies now in water. Um, pour it off, and you know, you can use that. Great for getting, you know, your your, your five a day in. So this would be uh, one. Well, this would be actually um, two portions because we've actually filled half of our half of our plate here. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more. Yes, adding a little bit more of those greens. Lovely, lovely. And with regard to the recipe, I've talked about the website. The other thing is that the app, um, the Better Health. Um, team also have um, uh, developed an app whereby you can get these recipes. It's called um, Easy Meals. So it's available on um, Android and on um, iOS as well. It's free to download and there are quite a few recipes. As I said, um, there are more and more that are culturally relevant to um, Black people in particular and also for Asian um, communities as well. So it's great to see. Um, and yeah, so this is one of them. So on the on the Easy Meals app, just simply um, click on the app, download it for free, click on the app, um, and it has meal ideas, it's got favourites, so you can save different recipes as your favourites, and it gives you a shopping list as well of any recipe that you choose. So yeah, we're cooking, we're cooking. That's looking so good. So, so good. Give it a little stir. Yeah, I can see my rice is. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Nicely pulling away. Yeah, this is what we do. <laughs> we taste. We taste. Lovely. Give me a quick wash and I um, will get ready to plate. Any other questions? Feel free to put it in the chat or any other comments. 
Brilliant. So just one more time, for the, and I mentioned, didn't I, the um, the link, if you put it into your search engine on your, you know, your computer, um, search engine, just put in Better Health and you'll find the recipes. Um, the website is nhs.uk forward slash Better Health. And for the app, literally go to the app store on your phone and look for Easy Meals. It's a green, brilliant. So it's a green icon, but the link now is actually in the chat as well. So you can get the link in the chat. Yeah, it is really a nice, simple, I can see some people communicating. Thanks people for interacting. It really is a simple, a simple, nice recipe. So it's a green um, icon um, on your phone and you, know, you can download it on iOS and you can download it on um, Android as well. And it's free and they are, adding more and more recipes, especially those that are relevant to Asian and African Caribbean communities. So on there, I know that, um, I think rice and peas is definitely on there, rice and peas and chicken. Um, there definitely is, there's cuckoo, there's Bajan cuckoo and fish on there. Um, there is obviously this, um, Baris Isakaris, so one pot Somali chicken. There's, yes, NHS Easy Meals, yeah, you should find it there. Yeah, absolutely, you'll find it there. You also have on there some West African dishes. So they've got, um, uh, you know, honey beans with, with plantain. They've got oat kuku, um with kale riro instead of um, efro riro or, you know, spinach soup. So, and there's jollof rice. Jollof rice is on there as well. You know, we're not cooking in West Africa, there's no jollof rice. So, you know, you can see that Better Health are really making an effort to incorporate these culturally relevant foods. It's not about teaching you how to cook because often you do, but what it is is showing how we can keep our wonderful, delightful heritage but make the meals um, healthier. Make the meals healthier. So we're managing those carbs, really, really important. Keeping that, you know, the starchy side we're keeping it down so it's not no carbs. This is not no carbs. We do need the carbs for some energy, but we're managing the portion. We are um, really capitalizing on the low calorie um, components of our food. So the, you know, the, the fresh veggies. So as I said, 50% of your plate should be the salad or the veggies, undressed. No, no, you know, not the dressings or anything. Fills you up, good for your bowels and obviously part of your fiber day, really good to help our bodies, our immune systems, um, just the whole system actually really good and then the other half we cut that in half and one quarter is for our rice and the other quarter is for our chicken and so hopefully i'll show you this with this meal lovely 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 brilliant and just in case guys just in case um you know you want this recording and um, because it's brilliant isn't it the Rafa team has made this available, so it's going to be available on Rafa Worldwide um, and also on their YouTube channel. So hit them up. Um, we can put the link in the chat for you, or um, if you send your details, they can make sure that it gets to you. Just going to give my hand a wash. One time. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rafa, for hosting this today. And this really is a, a collaborative between um, Rafa and the Better Health team as part of the um, NHS um, initiative for better, uh, for eating healthier and living a healthier lifestyle. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, shall we? Oh, this looks so good. This looks good. And guys, come and tell me, this, doesn't this look like something that you recognize? Remember what I said earlier, you know, when people talk about healthy eating and then they put something in you're like, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't recognize it. I'm just going to give my wife my, my rice a little bit of a taste um, because we do this, isn't this how we do it, isn't it? Mm. In fact, the palate. Take the carrots in there. Give it a quick wash. And everything is nicely incorporated. You'll notice that I didn't add salt. We're, we're really controlling the sodium levels here. We're adding some, we're not adding salt, but we did add a cube, seasoning cube. And it was that size. 
that's fine. So this is quite um, a moderate salt. So this is a low salt cube. Um, and really, you know, the, the, the idea, I'm turning this off now, it's actually done. The idea is to, you know, to keep our salt low. These are sold as, you know, the low salt version in, in stores. Um, if you're on a salt journey, of course, um, don't go cold turkey. Don't, you know, if you're having like loads and loads of salt and you're going on that journey, just continue to cut down your salt. You should be really looking at um, the government guidance is for a whole day, no more than one teaspoon for a whole day. And that's added salt, that's added salt and everything. So for this one meal, we've used one low salt cube and this is for four people. So you can see we're really managing that salt, keeping it nice and low. Brilliant. So did anyone actually put that on? Did you put that on? I'll be able to tell because I can smell your kitchen. <laughs> uh, and do you want to share your dish? Please do share your dish on by video. Um, or, or put it, you know, put a message in the chat. Please show us a link. Um, you can see mine, so please share yours as well. I'm going to plate up now um, just to show you that actually, as somebody said in the chat, thank you guys for interacting. It's quick and it's simple. Um, you'll have to believe me, it's tasty, but it looks like what we recognize. It looks like our food. <laughs> plate it down. This is for four people, guys. So I'm putting my chicken. And it's two pieces per person. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And then remember, this is not no carb, it's lower carb. And this is for four people. So we're managing that carbohydrate. Why are we doing that? Because we want to manage our weight. Awesome. Awesome. There we go, people. Quick, easy. I think that was probably under an hour. And we have got someone from the team from Rafa actually is going to taste. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Brilliant. Definitely. Thank you definitely. so much. We've got that actually looks really good. It doesn't look like something you recognize, right? that. Awesome. It's so colourful. Isn't that amazing? Oh my god. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to taste it though. I have to taste it. Let's go for it. So, there you go. There you go, madam. Please help yourself. And this is not something she prepared earlier. This no, ma'am. This has definitely just been prepared. This, this okay. was it. Can you see that? Ooh, isn't it colourful? Doesn't it look delightful? Right, I'm going to try it. <laughs> This is the test. <laughs> this is the test. This is the test. Right. Here we go. Drum roll, guys. What do you think? Mm. No, seriously. This is a definite hit for me. Really? I love it. Seriously. Can you, can you no. taste the sweetness of the carrots in the rice? I can taste the carrots. It almost has a kind of curry. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Doesn't it just? It really does. It, does. it really, really does. What do you think about the salt? It's it it tastes. I I don't taste salt. I taste a seasoned meal. Brilliant. And that's the whole idea. The yeah. whole idea it's, is that you're tasting, you know, so the, the flavors, the seed. Oh, she's giving it down here. <laughs> you're tasting the flavors and the seasoning. Because sometimes, you know, we miss it with our salt, don't we? Yeah. Because we put so much salt, we, we don't actually chicken. taste what it's supposed to taste like. So your your chicken, your cow foot. Oh. Everything to us to see them. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't, but I don't like chicken. Your chicken, your fish. Is it really chicken tastes like fish because we put so much salt in it? It's very true. Everything starts to taste Everything the same. Everything tastes the same, but I love what you said. That, you know, you mm -hmm. can say it's the aromatics. is the aromatics mm -hmm. for me. Brilliant. So important. Brilliant. Oh, somebody's Jean saying something here. Oh. Is this, yeah, that is a Somalian one pot. It is. It's the um, Baris Itsukaris, which is Somalian one pot. Yeah. And that's on the website. And the thing is, some people may think that they don't want to cook a Somalian meal, but let me tell you, when when it's cooked like this, oh, it's amazing. It really is. It tastes so, so nice. She's not lying. <laughs> She's lying. I don't lie. I don't lie. No, no, no. It's really nice. Awesome. We're going to make sure that this... I just need to be stop using it. We're going to make sure that this is available on the... Uh, so we keep showing the meal. Um, make sure this is available, the recipe is available. Remember to go on our website, 
um, and also a rapper dot worldwide. Please go on, and we're going to have you back. Definitely, definitely. She's impressed. We're going to have you back for cool. many, many more. Awesome. So, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Show thank off. you, rapper. No thank problem. you. No amazing. Problem. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. And of course, on behalf of the Better Health team, who I'm representing today, yep. thank you so much. Don't forget to visit the website. Definitely. And, you know, eat healthy, live healthy, um, and enjoy life. We so can do important. it. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. You do it. <laughs> I'm going to keep eating, though, because I really do like it. Awesome. awesome. And I don't even eat lunch normally, but this is going to do the job for me. Thank you. Mm. Brilliant. So that's Take about care. 475 calories, less than 500 calories. Is that all? Lovely. Yep. Defo. Wonderful. Defo. Thank you so, so much. Good stuff. Have a good day. I'm going to enjoy my lunch now. And I hope those who cooked along, you enjoy yours. Mm. Take care from Rafa, Better Health. And from me, Shola. Bless you. Take care Bye. and goodbye. Bye.